Bruh, you only gonna talk about BTS, shake my head. Oh, well, sorry. I don't know. I just went to the concert, so like everyone wanted to know how the concert went, so. Sorry. Anyway, um. What is it? Um, what was I saying? Okay. No entiendo nada, pero si me te ves linda. No te preocupes, yo voy a como. Yo voy a traducirlo todo. Um. Then I can't talk along. Okay, like, everyone that's, like, complaining about BTS, like, give me a second. I'm, like, a huge fan. I have been for years, and I just went to the concert for the first time. Those are personally my favorites. So give me a second to fangirl, because there were others that do not get the chance to go, and they did want to know how the concert was. So, and I promised that I would tell. So this is what I'm doing. Um, and I've been super inactive because I just went to the concert. So, but I'll eventually talk about other things. Like, I just, like, got new decoration and stuff, so I wanted to show that off as well. Uh, but anyway, R RM's aggressive, okay? RM's aggressive. I'm just letting you know. Now I'm June's all over my face. I was like, wow. I, I was like, the camera, I was like, I was telling the camera, I was, sh like, shouting at the cameraman, don't touch him. Don't look at him. Don't bring the camera to him. This is a Stan BTS household business. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, baby. Baby. Um, hola Lily, ¿cuánto tiempo sin hacer un live? I know, pero al fin lo puedo hacer. Pero bueno, um, RM was like kicking and stuff. He was kicking. He was all over the. Oh my god! And when he would get close to the camera, I'm like, dude. Next, um, I'm starting college tomorrow. And I'm feeling. I literally was just at my college today. It stresses me out so bad. I'll talk about that later. We'll like stress out together. <laughs> Bug up <laughs> March 2018. I don't even know, bro. You amaze us. Oh my god, babies. Okay, first of all, there's this amazing app called Womaze that's amazing for women and empowerment and self-love. And it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm um, their guest uh, this week. Um, and basically, there's a video of me and my main uh, introducing myself and then my main uh, message about self-love. And then there's around 10 things that I included, like... TED Talks and um, videos and songs and quotes and blogs that are all about things that inspire me. So if you want to go see that, I'm actually posting that later today. Remember the stirrup days? No way! Eddie! Get the hell out of here. No way! Hello? What even? That school was a mess. Anyway, but yes, that I'm going to be posting that... Um, Later on today. So hopefully you'll get to see that. And you'll get the app, which is amazing. Um, back to what I was saying. The concert was great. I had the time of my life. I was really so happy. I couldn't even, like, it was weird. Because, like, I, it was so hard to sleep. I guess it was, like, leftover excitement. I don't know. Because, like, I had so many BTS songs stuck. Just, it was a little annoying. Stuck in my head. And I literally couldn't go to bed. And I was so tired. <clears throat> okay. But, yeah, no, they're gorgeous. They're even more gorgeous in person. Jimin is, like, not cute at all on stage. He's just doing too too much, too much. American soil is too much. To, ooh, J-Hope, we're not talking about it. We're not talking about it. Look, I just, I want to talk about it, but it's hard. I can't. I'm, eh. Tell me about Jungkook. Jungkook actually did not, like, play me. Like, he didn't, he didn't, you know, hurt me. He was so cute. He was so talented. He didn't, he didn't sing a single bad note. There was no lip syncing whatsoever. I was like, okay, yeah, Mr. Talented. I was like, tell me about Hoso Girl. Girl, he started the whole thing. They did Idol. They did Save Me. Well, like, Save Me mixed with um, I'm Fine. J-Hope and Jimin hate seeing, hate seeing us breathe, bro. Anyway. And then right after, like, those two or three songs that they did together starting off, then J-Hope. Mr. Ho popped up singing Just Dance, and his solo was my life. Like, it was groovy. It was so groovy. I was like, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I just liked that there were, um, they were, like, they had their solos, and they were exactly, like, their style, and everyone brought a different style and a different genre. Um, what a move. <laughs> Jimmy, what's the point of wearing a shirt? Girl... During fake love, his shirt was literally falling off. I didn't even know what to do. I didn't even know what to do. I was like, wow, my husband's practically, like, naked on stage. I was like, what? No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 
but I love your acting. Thank you so much. Um, but no, the concert was amazing. It was really amazing. I honestly recommend it. If you're a new fan, I, if you ever do get the chance to go, I really do hope you get the chance to go. If you're an old fan, I even more like me. It's just gonna like literally. I've been in army for years, and I feel like I love them even more now. If that's even a thing, it's just it's a whole different thing, and. It was incredibly organized. Like I've never seen, just the concert in general, I've never seen anything so organized. I walked in, you could ask the security guard easily, like and have a civil conversation with the security guards and say, hey, I'm looking for my seat, where is it? And they tell you exactly where it is, communicate very well. You get there, people are not being like crowded and like, and like snatching wigs. And I don't know, they're being civil. The whole place was so civil. Everyone was so nice. Everyone was so happy. The vibe was good. Everybody was like ready to go. And it looked like when you were outside, it looked like it was empty. Like, oh my God, is there You know, walked to where they needed to, was sitting where they needed to sit. They were just chilling. I was like, wow. I'm telling you, it just depends on the fandom, bro. Because while I was, while I have been a, a, a directioner since like 2010, literally since they started, and I had the opportunity to luckily, like, my network got me to go with my castmates to um, a One Direction concert because we were hosting a pre-party for it, uh, hosted by a magazine. We got to go, right? But it was, like, the concert was, like, amazing. I love the boys, but it was so crowded. It was, like, so crowded, but to the point where, like, everyone's, like, together. Everyone's running. Everyone's shouting. There's people being so inconsiderate. They were, like, the security was, like, so rude. It was a struggle trying to get to your seat. I was like, what is this? And then, like, people bringing, like, these big freaking posters that are so unnecessary. And, like, hello, the people in the back can't see. Like, and, like, there's people that, like, literally sit, are, like, saved money for so long to, like, go to these concerts. And they literally see nothing. There's this big, gigantic Harry's boot that's, like, the size of three people in front of them. And when you can't see the boys. I was like, this is a mess. I'm only here for the boys. I don't even like any of y'all. I was looking at the fans next to me. I was like, y'all... Yeah. Y'all really out here doing too much. So this was the first concert I got to go to where everyone was just so nice. Like, you could talk to people, you could sing along with them. Like, everyone was there, like, because they felt the music. They were so into, you know, the artists. It was something that you really like. Everyone was on the same page. And, like, the army bombs, like, the little light sticks, for those that don't know, just made it ten times better. It made, it made it so personal. And, like... Um, and Sarah did it for like two seconds. No, 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 no. You're funny. You're funny. You think I can actually like talk about it? <laughs> anyway, but that's mainly what me and my mom liked. Like even my mom was like, wow, because my mom's a huge um army as well, and so she, she's so extra. But she loved it. It was like one of the favorites. Like it was her top favorite concert she's ever been to. So even if you're not like a super huge fan, I really do recommend. I just think it's a good show in general. Um, the second time I went, oh, I, I didn't know I was going a second time either. My sister came back. My sister's a resident now, y'all. My sister's a U.S. resident. Hey! But luckily we got that done. But since she did have to go to her, um, she had to go to her, like, interview for the residency, like, back in Florida. And it was the day of the concert. And I, we all felt so, so bad because she's a huge fan, too. And she was going to miss it. And it's, like, the one time we were able to see them and we don't know when we're going to see them again, blah, blah, blah. She was back the next day and my mom literally searched freaking the, the, the constellations, the ground, the bottom of the ocean, trying to find new tickets. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And they weren't that expensive. It was something that we could um, go for. And the three of us all went. It was amazing. It was as amazing. It was the last show in LA. Like, I just like saw like the like the light up like face on my sister, and it was like, ah, it was amazing. And the whole thing was even better because now I wasn't really focused on like oh getting it all on videotape and whatever. It was like I didn't even use my phone at all. It was just I caught like a few things and then just lived in the moment right then. So it was amazing. So those are the two concerts I was able to go to. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to see them again because like, I literally just don't have that kind of concert money. Um, like, But yeah, no, it was amazing. My sister and my mom were happy. So that's all I needed to say. Concert conversation over. Para lo que lo creen en español. Lo mejor que he visto en mi vida. De verdad, no, el show está espectacular. La primera que vivimos fue mi mamá y yo. 
que las dos somos súper super grandes fans. Nos sentimos mal porque mi hermana no pudo ir y ella también es una súper gran fan. Um, porque tuvo que regresar a la Florida por cosas de residencia y whatever. Y ahí es residente. So, eso es lo bueno, pero le tocó la, la entrevista el día del concierto. Se fastidió. Y nos sentíamos mal y ahí no pudo ir, bla, bla, bla. Y entonces podemos ir una segunda vez porque mi, mi mamá buscó tickets por las constelaciones, por eh, debajo de la tierra, no sé cómo los encontró, a los tickets para ir una segunda vez para traer a mi, ma, mi hermana al show. Y podemos ir las tres. Y verdad que para no seguir hablando muchísimo de eso, porque hay una cantidad de gente que tampoco conoce a BTS ni sabe, y entonces se ponen a decir, ay, esto, si solo está hablando de eso. Bueno, en fin, para hacer la historia corta, espectacular, es súper organizado, nunca había un, un, visto un concierto tan organizado, eh, la gente de lo más, como todo el mundo vino al concierto, todo el mundo vino a divertirse, no era para pa agarrarlo todo ahí, para pa, pa que los miren y, y les tiren cosas, no traían postres gigantescos que no dejan a nadie ver atrás, toda esa cantidad de cosas, de verdad que era un, una atmósfera tan positiva, todo el mundo vino ahí como para, para divertirse, para en parejas, habían eh, al frente de nosotros había como un muchacho joven con su niñito y el niñito era súper súper fan de BTA y le gustaba como RM, eh, uno de los raperos y era de lo más lindo, todo el tiempo con su like lucecita, y, ay de lo más lindo había niñas al lado de nosotros habían unas que hablaban español, entonces nos hicimos amigas de ella um, no, de verdad que es súper lindo y cada, cada miembro tiene un talento tan espectacular porque cada uno tiene su propia canción y, y hace como un solo y cada uno puede enseñar su talento, su estilo entonces después todos regresan y hacen las canciones como todas juntos de verdad que el show estaba espectacular de verdad, hasta si no eres como súper súper fan de verdad lo recomiendo, es un show espectacular pero bueno, no voy a ir en, en detalles porque claro, mi esposo se ve espectacular como siempre Ooh, and I do, 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 do. Okay, so like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm like still ranting about it, but like, the second time that we went, it was like all three of us. Um, we actually got very, very close seats. I thought we were gonna be like so far away. We were so close, and I was like, what is going on? I was like, dude, they could totally see us. And I was like, so let me tell y'all something. My sister's mad because her bias Jungkook did not look at her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did not see her like once. He did not even look in our general direction. He just like kind of like overviewed and say hi to like everyone, but didn't see them. Um, Namjoon did not see us at all. Jin did not see us at all. Who am I missing? Taehyung did not see us. I think he saw like our general area, but like didn't say like hi directly to people. Um, I'm gonna go. Okay, so for the first one to actually literally see us was J-Hope. They were performing dope. And you know how like Jin has this parts where he goes like this in the choreo and it's like the cutest thing. Me and my sister were doing it. We were like the only ones doing it at the time because um, it wasn't the part yet. Like like he does the dance and uh, Jin does the dance in the second verse, not the first verse. We did it on the first verse. J-Hope was right freaking there. And he looked at our general direction and then like started doing like this with us and I literally died. I was like, stop. I, J-Hope, come through. I was like, oh, baby. I was like, ah, so cute. I was like, I was me, I was like, what? You Secondly, do, there were three members, three. I, I didn't even aim for like one. Um, it was, uh, oh my goodness, sugar. It was, okay, both of these were like when they were saying bye and they were walking throughout the whole stage saying bye to everyone. The concert was nearly over so then sugar was walking back. And that's like the only time I did like this, because I was like, why am I gonna wave? Like, they're not gonna see me, like, it doesn't matter. I was like, I'm gonna look stupid, like, waving at nothing, because <laughs> they're not gonna see anyway. So I was just like, with my army bomb, like, you know, like clapping and like looking at them and saying, you know, babies, you know what I mean? And Sugar looked, and I was like, okay, whatever, and I'm gonna go like this. And then he waved, and then I was like, it's not me, it, it, it looks like it is, I'm gonna take it as if it is. This, and then he did it back, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait. 
but I was like, we're, we were, I was like still unsure because they were, it was super cute. There were actually real, uh, there were actually deaf fans in front of us who were like right in front, like super cool. And they had someone to, uh, sign the whole concert for them. It was amazing. And this means I love you in sign language, which is, which I was like, okay, one, he either did it in just this general direction, said bye to everyone, could have seen us because we were like right there. So I'm pretty sure he like caught a glimpse and it could have been that he saw us or not, but was mainly saying this because uh, the deaf fans and was saying I love you to them. And, and then I was like, the second option is that he, sister, he did see you do this, but he thought you were deaf and was saying I love you. And I was like, and she was like, you know what? I'll take it. It was cute. <laughs> so Suge is like a yes and no type situation. I'm pretty sure he did like see us throughout the concert though. Cause he was one of the ones that most walked around our general area. And the other one was Jimin. My husband came through. He knew that I was here. I was like, hello, I'm right here. I was like, I did not want to be that girl. I didn't want to be that person. But I did this and I sent the heart out because I was going to send love to my baby. I didn't care. I was like, I'm going to do it. So I was like, yo. Baby, and so he was he just came I guess I caught him at the right time because he was just walking that way and I was doing that and I think in that moment I was like One day like there weren't like a lot of people doing it I think it was just me in that section and then he did this and I was like, oh my god. No that 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 was And then my sister started doing it and then he like started like giggling and I was like Wow I was like wow, you know what? You know what? It's like it's like it's like he knew that I was matching with Yungi's DNA outfit because I wore the sweater um, on the first concert, and he's like, "No, no, no! You're my wife. You need to be loyal." So hey, I'm gonna send you love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna notice you. I was like, "Wow, I I could die happily now." I was like, "What? Wow." Anyway, that's what happened. Um, none of the other ones saw us. I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, that's what I needed to share. <laughs> now we can talk about other things. We can move on. I'm so sorry, but I had to get all of that out of the way since I've been gone for a couple days and everyone was dying to know, like, how was my time at the concert? And it's so cool because on the first night I got to see a bunch of my, uh, friends from home. So, uh, I was like really happy. How early did you go to the concert? Like two hours before. And you didn't even need to. Jalen Major. Aw. Sunshine. Um, you didn't even need to. It was just so organized. You could you could literally be there like less than an hour before the concert's about to start and you'll get to your seat immediately. Okay. Okay. I'm about to like eat <laughs> real soon. Um because I gotta go to like the dentist at four. Um Adventure time. Oh my god, why are you bringing that up? No, I'm so sad adventure time's over. That was my show, dude. Like, he didn't notice that section. He's just kind of, he's the type of, like, to just look in general. And, like, she was like, wow, it's really like that, huh? Bro, V is my bias. And tell me about it, bro. My bias. Your bias is gorgeous. I love V. He's so gorgeous. He's adorable. He sends so many hearts and cutesy faces, except in singularity. 
the girl behind me was like, literally switched her bias record just because of his singularity performance. That's how bad it is. Bad isn't good. Like, oh, we're not doing this. We're not doing this in public. No, it was so bad. Let me move on. Let me not talk about this damn concert anymore. It's hurting me. Oh, Michelle, I miss you too. I'm finally back, oh my God. Isn't 32 days in Jim and B day. I keep telling my friends that you have like the best concert. Like you're literally going on his birthday. I'm gonna, I'd cry. I'll share with your sis. Give her a second. Right now she'll tell you she doesn't need him because she's mad. But in a couple days she'll be like, we're sharing him. Jim is my bias. Me too, baby. I'm just beat this in like two days. Oh my god. Show us your new decoration. Put those up. Um, oh, the bedding is new. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like stars and whatever. Same over there. Um, do you have a light stick? Yeah, I do. And get some advice. Can you DM me on Twitter after? Yeah, I will. Now I'm gonna like eat, and then I'm gonna go to the like the freaking dentist. convinced me but yeah no I was always aware of them since they had their debut because I've been a fan of K-pop since like 2009 because um G by Girls Generation got me into it um but yeah no I became a fan like 2015 and I died when I saw your IG story of Euphoria my my sister was a mess she was like she she had her like light stick like right here she was like she couldn't even move she's like I found out about them in the dope era. Ugh, so good. How many letters does the alphabet have? Depends. The Spanish alphabet has more than the English alphabet. There are different alphabets depending on the language. But I don't even care. I don't need, I like, y'all can come for G, for girl, uh, Girls' Generation, whatever you want. Dope. I love them. Where did you get your moon thing in the back? I got this. In uh, Urban Outfitters. <laughs> At the, what? At the concert I'm going. Well, I guess I'm going to jail because I'm singing. Why not? Why aren't they letting people do that? It's literally just singing happy birthday. And I'm sure there's going to be time to do it. Like, right at the end, they usually start talking and saying thank you. They could literally just do it there. Oh, I like that song. Is that the one I like? Or is that the one I skip? I'm so glad you like my name, he has Twitter account for you. I love it. You guys are so sweet. Mm -hmm. Girly, how serendipity. <sighs> so great. Love BTS. Like, and they're com two completely different artists. <laughs> like, it's literally not comparable. <laughs> Very biased from Girls' Generation. Ooh. Taeyeon is my bias record. And I forgot my baby's name. Oh my god. I'm like the worst. I stopped listening to them for a while. And then their new comeback just literally grabbed me by my hair and yanked me back. Okay, before we have like a like waste of time uh, fandom war in the comments about like whether you like One Direction or BTS more. Literally don't. <laughs> Or else, like, bye. Because, <laughs> like, one, some people like One Direction. Some people like BTS. Some people like both. Wow. Isn't that new? Um, my wig. <laughs> Who's your two favorite in One Direction? Now one is Harry. Harry was always my baby. Harry was always my favorite. 
And then like I would, and then like sometimes, and then like Niall was like the other, who was always like creeping and was like, hey, hey girl. <laughs> I love BTS and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Or you could like neither of them. That's fine too. <laughs> I don't know why people have to argue about it. It's literally like, it's literally like people who some people like Lord and then some people like Nicki Minaj. You like who you like. Do you see them fighting about each other and being like, oh, my artist is better? No. They have nothing to do with each other. They do completely different styles. Like, what is the issue? What is the problem? I found out ice caramel macchiato is way better with almond milk. You should try it. I know. Almond milk is just healthier in general, but I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't know. Almond milk has a specific taste that I only like in certain drinks. You know what I mean? But yeah. Have you ever tried macadamia milk? It's so good. I was like, what? What is this? I got the bottle. It was so cute. And I was like, wow, let me try it. I've never tried this milk. Milk, milk, milk. But, yeah. And I was like, it's good. So now, you know, I have it with, like, chocolate cake and, like, cake and cake. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Ven porque yo me merece conocerte. That's cute. Ah! I pinned it. <laughs> ¿Te gusta la música latina? Sí, claro. Es mi lenguaje, mi cultura. Claro. When you're allergic to nuts, you can't relate. Well, yeah. I just go for regular milk. I don't know. Everyone here likes almond milk. Like everyone in LA likes to be healthy. I don't know. I don't. I can't relate. Just, I don't know. I've been a fan since Bella and the Bulldogs. No way. Thank you. That's so sweet. Aw. That's so cute. That was, it was such a fun show to be on. I'm like trying to read. It was such a good show. Oh, now it's done. I know. I'm sorry. I wish. It was, it was, so, it was so fun to be on. Dobre. Wait, where have I heard that? Twins, not Dolan twins. I would have been like, oh, but Dobre, I think. They're like twins too, and they're like fam Instagram famous or something. I like saw them at like Earth Cafe. Because like apart from any other touring or anything that you're going to do, please just pass by like a random Earth Cafe. Literally, you're going to see everyone there. Like any type of anyone is just going to be there. You missed all the Bulldogs? Oh, thank you. It was such a fun show. It was, it was such good memories, bro. But hopefully next year, because next year's our five-year anniversary. I don't know. I can't remember if it's five-year anniversary of it coming out. Um, and I think hopefully all of us will get together, like a reunion, and like celebrate it. Does someone mention Stray Kids? Stand Stray Kids, please. You look baby Changbin is baby Changbin. I don't even know what else to say. I could literally go on about them for days, so we're not going to talk about it. Ah. I love them. They're coming up with so much stuff. Like, oh my god, why? Why? Why must you do that to me? So much good stuff. Ah. Wait. Come on. Because, <laughs> like, I got to go eat. <laughs> Hello. Um, I have rice. really cute stuff and they're like right next to a grocery store that kind of stuff yeah that's where she got it <laughs> so yeah it's not a like a it's not like a chain or, or anything
Boo boo. Oh my god. I miss you. Freaking miss you. I never get to see you so like I need to see we need to hang out more often. Like what? What? Hmm. You're so cute. I like how you spell that all out with letters. Why hair always look on point, girl? I've been trying so hard to keep it like decent <laughs> these past couple of days. Um, you're so pretty. Thank you. Okay, so what else do I need to? Oh yes, I'm gonna post. Okay, finally, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> Eat the Lamar muffin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is Eat the Lamar. This is a new segment. Um. <laughs> But yeah, this is really good. Yeah. But yeah, since because I'm eating and have to eat really quick and then leave. I'm sorry it's not as long as I like wanted it to be. This is like the time that I found that I was like, oh, let me go. Because like, I have to clean my room. I have to like go to college this morning and like, gets like, oh my God, they just need to explain things better. Uh, okay, I literally have to go again tomorrow and like, I have to take a test and uh, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about college right now. Did I watch Jimin's live? Yes. And it's all over Instagram too to remind me that he's adorable. I'm going to stop talking about it. I'm going to leave. Um, I'll be, how was the nun movie? It was great. I really recommend it. I loved it. I thought it was, I can't compare it to much. I'm not a, exactly a, like a frequent horror movie watcher, whatever. Um, it to and I thought I thought it was good um I thought it was good so if you want to go and watch it with some friends I I'd say go I think it's I think it's scary enough like for those of you like that have friends that are really funny when they go to horror movies because they get so freaked out you expect it you know there's gonna be a jump scare but it's kind of like you remember don't by Bryson Tiller it's like you never, you never know when to say don't. Like you can't count your way there. Like you know what's gonna happen, but you were never on time. That's how it is with the movie. Like you know there's a jump scare coming. You know. It's ugly, the nun is ugly. Oh my God, like she's sad. The actress that did it was great, she's so ugly. Not her, like this, the, all the effects, ugly, horror, horrifying, but the acting was great. There was comedic relief every now and then that was just perfect. Like there was some, the, the, the comedy was just very well placed because it's just so hard to do that when it comes to like a horror movie. So I recommend it. I really liked it. All right. Yeah. And I write about why the Lamar is such an icon for me. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. I wish you so much good luck with your career. Um, I need to watch all the boys I've loved, yeah, the boys I've loved before. I know. I really do need to. It's like everyone says it's so good and keep rewatching it. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm so late. I'm going to have to go watch it. Anyway, I have to say bye now because I want to eat. Um, and then I have to go to the dentist. <sighs> Wish me luck. Um, okay. Not, nah, I'm not nervous. I'm fine. I'm not. Anyway. I have to go, finally, because I keep saying that and I don't leave. But thank you for chatting me with, with me for a little bit. Um, I usually do longer ones, but, you know, I gotta go. But thank you. I love you. I am so grateful for you. Um, I will be posting later today because there's something very, very exciting that I just did um, with an app called Wamaze. So I can't wait to tell you all about it. Um, and I'll post that later. And, um, yeah. Gracias, los quiero mucho, los aprecio. Um, voy, ya voy a seguir posteando porque pasé unos días sin postear. Eh, voy a postear más tarde hoy porque hice algo súper, súper cool con una aplicación que se llama One Maze. Um, y yo cuando lo posteé más tarde hoy voy a poner toda la información para que puedan ir a la aplicación, puedan ver todas las cosas que puse, todo eso. Um, so yeah, espero que lo puedan ver, que les guste. Eh, los quiero, los adoro, estoy súper agradecida, los veo pronto, ojalá pueda hacer un live pronto, porque hace tiempo no hago uno y hace tiempo estoy media como... 
Love you. Disfruta tu comida. Bye. Bye. Gracias. Bye, bye.